Welcome, Galactic Wanderers, to another installment of Citizen Bites. I'm Nerion, and for those just joining us for the first time, our mission here is to serve up bite-sized Star Citizen content, which is perfect for you newcomers or casual pilots that are looking to navigate the verse without getting lost in the nebula of information overload. Today, we're setting our sights on the Freelancer series, doing a small breakdown of the Freelancer base model, the DUR, Max, and Miss variant. If you're ready to upgrade from your trusty Aurora or seeking a ship that's as reliable as your local space diner's coffee, this episode is your launch pad. So strap in. Now, when it comes to the Freelancer series, these models share core traits that make them as dependable as a gravity well, sturdy defenses, ample cargo space, and MISC's trademark reliability. Designed for crews of two to four with a rear ramp perfect for loading cargo or making a hasty exit from unwelcome encounters, these ships are built to handle whatever the thirst throws your way. Just beware of tight spots, as maneuvering isn't their strong suit, and I do find that the cockpit view sometimes feels like peering through a letterbox. Additionally, all the variants boast side-mounted pilot-controlled turrets with dual-sized three guns, plus a rear turret manned for when you need to discourage those tailgaters. So, let's dive into your options. First, starting with the base model. This is your all-around medium hauler that stands tall as a versatile cargo hauler akin to a swiss army knife minus the toothpick it's capable of carrying up to 66 scu of cargo and it's a popular choice amongst independent haulers and corporate giants alike with its xeon inspired design the freelancer excels on long hauls and even dabbles in exploratory missions Moving on to the exploration option, the DUR. Trading cargo space for the thrill of discovery, the Freelancer DUR is tailored for deep space exploration. Sporting advanced scanners, an upgraded jump drive, and a bigger fuel tank, this variant sacrifices some hauling capacity, which reduces it down to 28 SEU, but for a ticket to chart the unknown. If you're down to the mysteries or the mysteries, I can't even speak today, of unexplored star systems, this ship awaits you. Now, when it comes to one of the cargo hauling kings, we have the Max variant. This is the heavy lifter of the Freelancer fleet. With an eye-popping 128 SCU cargo hold, it's engineered for moving substantial loads, whether it's equipment, vehicles, or raw materials. Backing extra thrusters and hydrogen fuel, the MAX does ensure you maximize profits per haul. Pun maybe slightly intended there. Though nimble maneuvers aren't its forte, unfortunately, this is most likely the least nimble of the variants. And finally, for those looking for a little bit more firepower, we have the Freelancer Miss or MIS. It sacrifices cargo space for a barrage of 28 size 3 missiles, and this combat variant does certainly pack a punch. Uh, cargo capacity does match the DUR, so you have 28 SCU. The ship is ideal for patrol missions and skirmishes. It's a rare gem coveted by militias and independent outfits looking to bolster their fleet's combat capabilities. Now, unfortunately, out of all the variants, this one is limited uh, availability. So you just got to keep an eye out for those limited time events when this one pops up and is available for purchase. So there you have it. Those are four options that you have in the freelancer series so whether you're a rookie pilot or a seasoned spacefarer looking to upgrade the freelancer series does offer a variety of options to suit your style of play whether you favor versatility exploration heavy hauling or combat prowess there is a freelancer for you personally i've been sticking with the dur 
uh, for quite some time now, mainly for its blend of exploration and functionality. It is certainly nice to be able to travel for extended durations without having to refuel. Also, the enhanced systems do make it probably my go-to for navigating the unknown expanses of the verse. Although, at least most of the unknown expanses are yet to come at this point. Well, if you've enjoyed diving into this light coverage of the Freelancer series with me today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get more Star Citizen insights. Uh, as well as check out some of my other content on the channel, such as reviewing indie games and dabbling in some indie horror games and playthroughs. Feel free to share your thoughts on your favorite freelancer variant, or drop me a line with your feedback and ideas for future episodes. This is a current work in progress this series, so I do appreciate any suggestions or ideas how we can look to improve it. Again, all my episodes aim to be around five to 10 minutes long, just so you don't find yourself falling asleep in the cockpit. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, fly safe and forge boldly ahead, and we'll see you out there amongst the stars. I have once again been a non-professional gamer, and we'll see you in the next one. That's a wrap. <laughs>